hey guys welcome back to my booth irfan here now this is what today's video was supposed to be about unfortunately i cannot show you what is inside this box having access to something which is not available to everyone is truly a blessing i get to test stuff review it and give my feedback on it but at the same time the bummer is that i cannot publish the review at my own discretion i have to wait for the right time this is one of those cases it took me more than 10 days to review this thing i had to shoot at four different locations at different times and it took me hours and hours to compile and edit the video so i'm pretty sure you're gonna love what i've made but we'll have to wait a couple more days but that doesn't mean there is no video today i decided to give you a sneak peek of some more gadgets that i don't have any problem showing it to you guys right now these are some gadgets that i have received and i have to review them i'm really excited to check them out and i thought why not give you a sneak peek of what's about to come so let's get started first off is a package by a brand called secure so this is an electric screwdriver i have reviewed one like this uh, from uh, another brand called xiaomi they had one called i think wow stick one plus that video was a pretty big hit on my channel now this thing is very different it's very differently built it actually even has an lcd screen which was not there in the me version it also seems a little bit more solid and i don't think it is just this in the package when i remove the foam there is one more box and inside is a plastic casing oh look at that there are about 24 different bits for the screwdriver and also a manual screwdriver now there is something very special about this screwdriver uh, the previous one i reviewed and most of the ones that you have out there you usually have a button for screwing the uh, screw and one for unscrewing it but this one is actually a smart screwdriver so uh, what happens is that when i press any of these buttons the uh, bit starts to spin but in which direction it spin depends on how you turn the screwdriver so if I press the button and turn it anti-clockwise, it will start unscrewing the screw. And if I do the same and turn it clockwise, it does the opposite. You can also see it on the LCD, the small LCD screen over there. Watch this. This is something so unique. It got me immediately intrigued when they told me about it and I was like, I have to review this. Anyways, this is on my list to be reviewed in the very near future which would be in the next week or so okay now let's put this back and move to the next one all right next up we have a bubble wrap package where's my scissors there they are oh that's the me band six fitness band in a long line of fitness bands this is the sixth version and man this this box really feels premium i've reviewed a lot of uh, me products and in fact two or three me bands as well their smartwatches the bands but uh, i've never seen a, their box look so good this actually feels good usually their boxes are pretty much normal cardboard boxes uh, with not much finish but this one is a nice uh, matte looking box with uh, some sort of an embossed image of the me band and then also the six mentioned so there's sort of a drawer that comes out okay here we have the band there it is it's off currently i don't think there is any battery left inside other than the band we have a user manual it's so thick it's like yellow pages look at that that's just a user manual it's in about 20 something languages and it's massive and i thought there was actually some sort of a charger or a cable something inside this this thick hold but it was only this user manual okay so there's one more cable over here i think this is the one which will be used for charging okay so there we have the charging cable some sort of a magnetic one i guess oh yeah it is actually magnetic so it just goes on on the back side it uh, gets stuck to it and then you can charge it i love fitness bands for mainly one reasons i get a lot of them to review every year and it's not like i'm a big fan of them you might notice in a lot of my videos i always have an analog watch on my hand which i usually prefer to wear i like smart watches which have long battery life like at least 14 days or 20 days that is the minimum fitness bands i'm not a really big fan of them mainly because of their shape i just don't like this elongated shape i usually like to stick to something square or circle but i still like them for one one main reason they get me pumped up 
since I have to review them, uh, that means I have to take them for a run, I have to take them for a walk to test it, and I have to take them for a swim. If they are waterproof, this one is, by the way, this one is five atoms uh, waterproof. That gets me going. And once that gets me going, I stay motivated for a couple of weeks. So yeah, that is why uh, usually I love uh, smartwatches. Just playing around with this thing in my hand, it just feels so different from the previous versions. I don't know, it just looks a little bit more premium to me with the band, with the buckle and with the whole shape of this i feel the screen is a little bigger i've not switched it on but i can see it right now here from the box i feel it is a little bigger and then the other day uh, on an instagram post i also saw that it has some sort of a different feature where there's a button which you press it says breathe and then i don't know whether it helps in meditation or it actually does something with the vibrations in the hand but we'll get to that in the detailed review which will also be in the next coming one to two weeks so now let's put this back in the box and move to the next one or actually just put it to the side and move to the next one all right so this is a big box and it comes from no other than tiny scope you might have seen a video on my channel very recently where i reviewed an electric telescope from a brand called tiny scope it was called the tiny scope dwarf telescope yeah that was the name after i reviewed that uh, telescope they sent me another couple of items to review as well some of them are brand new some of them they have already launched in the past years and they have been selling it quite well so we'll start with the small ones first now this is uh, their tiny scope mobile telescope now it's basically a small lens that you can attach on top of your phone camera and it says it will give you up to 400 times magnification i'm usually very skeptical about the number of times of magnification which uh, a lot of companies mention on their product page or on their boxes so i like to test it myself and then actually cross reference it with real images at that magnification which i will do in the review but let's have a look at this first as you can see there's a small microscope in the middle and then on the left and right you have uh, sample slides it says butterfly wing and there's potato starch so these are things which they have sent along with it so which you can play around with and if you have kids that's great because they love this kind of stuff okay it comes in a neat little plastic box and this is it that's about it so this is what they're talking about and on the back you can see there's just a small opening which you can place on top of your phone camera and glue to it for gluing you have like dozens and dozens of stickers over here inside the box small circular donut shaped stickers you can use these to put it on the back of the phone camera attach it and just go around looking at small things the next one in this small package is a different one this one just comes in a plastic casing this one i think is called their beetle okay so this one is packed a little differently there's sort of a rubber sleeve which you can see a silicon sleeve in the bottom and the small lens the beetle so the lens goes into the sleeve just like this and then once again you can use the stickers which are provided with it to attach it on top of your phone camera and then you can go around looking at macro things i'm not sure how much magnification this one is claiming nor does it mention anywhere on the box in fact this is the whole package this came in so there's no box or anything with it but i will look it up online i think this is their new one and they're trying to sell it on kickstarter or indiegogo at the moment but i sure will give you more details on these for these two i'm planning to do it in one video because they are of pretty much similar caliber i think the results they will yield are will pretty much be the same so i'm going to tackle these you know in one video and there's also one more a uh, big one which came from them so this is a big box and it's pretty heavy too and this one says microscopic camera so this definitely looks like a big gizmo okay so we've got a nice big user guide inside and there's a whole bunch of stuff look at that that looks like a chemistry experiment kit there's a lot of stuff inside so i'll just, I'll just break it down so this is what the main scope camera is like and i think it needs to be placed flat down then there is a wi-fi module over here which also came with the dwarf telescope if you remember if, if you've seen that video this is this exact same thing which came with that scope as well then there's about four slides in this box as well uh, sunflower pollen egg plankton but dragonfly wing etc then you have two uh, round boxes with lids like these these are clear transparent plastic boxes now i think how this works is that this thing it has a usb-c port over here this wi-fi box is also sort of a power bank for this camera so what you do is you connect this to this this powers this on and then you connect this to your phone so a wi-fi signal will show up in your wi-fi settings on your phone you connect to that and then the feed from this camera it will show up on your phone screen through the tiny scope app pretty much the same setup like the, uh, the dwarf telescope and then what you can do is you can place these slides on top of this camera and then the image will show up in your phone now if it is going to be like that 
uh, I'm assuming there's, there's a translucent ring around the camera which I am pretty sure is LEDs that means it will light up the subject and I actually am very excited about this this, this looks very promising and I think it will have some very great uh, pictures other than that we also have a USB-C cable which I'm assuming is to connect the Wi-Fi box to the main module and then also we have two OTG ports one with micro USB and one for USB-C so this one I'll have to tackle in a separate video because I think it will take a little bit more time then compared to those two together all right guys that is pretty much it for today uh, i think it is a decent bunch of gadgets i'm really excited for all of them there were a couple more which i could not include in this video but you'll surely see them on the channel very soon if i were to pick which one i would like to review next uh, i think i'll go with the tiny scope with the 400 times magnification claim something like this i feel it just gets the mind tickling you know having been able to see such tiny things you know at such a macro level it just fascinates me every single time if you were to choose which one you would like to see reviewed next which one would that be let me know in the comments below I'll make sure to go through them and you never know I might actually change my mind. That's it for now guys if you enjoyed what you saw hit the like button below and share the video with your friends and family and while you're at it don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews DIYs and life hacks. You can also follow me on Instagram and other social media all the links are in the description box below. Click on these uh, thumbnails which uh, YouTube wants you to watch or check out my YouTube channel for more and as always thanks for watching.